Hey guys, this is just a quick um, little reminder from the stuff that we talked about yesterday in class where we looked at breaking down the differences between prokaryotic or prokaryotes and eukaryotic or eukaryote cells. Um, both of these are types of cells and they describe different, different types of cells. And so let's start down here actually with the eukaryote. These are cells with a membrane bound nucleus and we're looking specifically at the nucleus okay so these are cells with a membrane bound nucleus or they have a nucleus that is you know there it's definite we can see it um, and this is all plant and animal cells all plant and animal cells everything we've looked at so far are eukaryotic in nature uh, they have a or they have a cell nucleus uh, surrounded by a membrane. There's a, a lipid, a phospholipid membrane around that nucleus. And that makes it a eukaryotic cell. So this is what we've looked at so far. There's also another class of cells called prokaryotes. And these are the opposite. So they are cells lacking a nucleus. Okay. And so this is specifically a nucleus, a lacking a membrane-bound nucleus. Um, an example of a prokaryotic cell would be all bacteria. Okay, they are all bacteria. You know, when, when you get sick, you have a bacteria in you. Um, they are prokaryotic in nature. They do not have a nucleus. And so I've got a picture here of a prokaryotic cell. There's a couple things I want to point out. Let me blow this up a little bit. Okay. Um, so this is the general structure of a prokaryotic cell. Let me get a pen turned on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the structure of a bacterial cell. Um, it is very, very small. They always stay as single-celled organisms. So multiple bacteria cannot pair up and form one super bacteria like our cells. We have skin cells and nerve cells and muscle cells all working together. Um, prokaryotes don't work like that. The, the DNA is kind of just clumped together and it's called a nucleoid. So it's not a nucleus, but it's, it's where the DNA is kept um, and it just all kind of hangs out together. The one commonality, or one of the commonalities, is that they have ribosomes. Okay. Uh, ribosomes we know are uh, responsible for producing protein, and so bacteria still need to do that, and so they still have these ribosomes in there. Eukaryotic cells also have ribosomes, so this is one of the commonalities. They also have a plasma membrane, and this is a lipid bilayer, just like um, we know in eukaryotic cells. So they have a phosphate head, and then a couple of fatty acid tails, and they, you know work side by side like this. Okay. Um, the other thing that eukaryotic or prokaryotic cells have rather is they've got a cell wall in a capsule. So these are two things that are unique to prokaryotic cells. And I want to make a note on this. The cell wall of a prokaryote and the capsule, these are both um, polysaccharides. Okay, they're sugars. So they're polysaccharides and they're mixed with some protein, okay, and both are the same. And they're both for protection of the cell. So the cell wall and the capsule are both made of a polysaccharide and protein mix um, somewhat. The capsule is mainly for protection against immune systems or if it's in unfavorable conditions uh, and it protects the cell from, from death really. The cell wall is just another layer of protection and then again beneath all of that is the plasma membrane. So we've got kind of this sandwich of protection around the outside. Remember the plasma membrane is this lipid bilayer. The cell wall and the capsule are a mixture of polysaccharides and protein. Uh, so that's it really, uh, very basic in structure. Some of them have a flagellum, this, it's like a little tail that helps it get around, not all of them do. So we'll talk more about this in class, but, uh, but yeah, that's a prokaryotic cell.